Hello, everybody. This is Bitmore94, and welcome to the Cube Community Server thing. And I'm standing in front of a tough decision. Uh, I got this pickaxe, which I'm really happy to have gotten. It's really what I wanted. And these are my books. They are actually really good. There's some really good in there. Uh, efficiency free, it's useful. Uh, I'm not really into respiration or underwater work. It's a still touch book with the uh, the other two. It's kind of shite, uh, but I could use the smite book for this. But I'm not gonna do that because it's still touch. It's so rare. I actually found that in a abandoned mine shaft. Uh, shite. Okay, we can make another one of these bows. Uh, and this is this book. Uh, sharpness is really good. Oops, took a bit to be getting like sharpness five, five uh, weapons. But mm, I'm not really like I've been using this crappy, crappy sword for so long, and it's nearly broken. And I'm so happy about that. Um, uh, but yeah, I'm not sure. I'm gonna use efficiency because efficiency on a on an axe is really makes a difference. Efficiency four is pretty good, but efficiency five is so much better. And then I got this unbreaking book, which uh, anti happiness free because but I'm breaking it's so rare, it's so good. What are they? Oh, Jack is posting Twitch because he might be streaming. <laughs> okay. Um so this is episode thirty six and it's called Grind. Uh because I've been doing a lot of grind work. Uh yeah, let's let's and other people have always also been doing a lot of grind work. Yes, this is this book. I'm gonna I'm gonna use the efficiency on this and scrap the You know, because it, my problem is that sharpness and fire aspect will go on the sword and I do not like fire aspects on, on weapons at all. I don't really like flame on this. It was a bad choice. I shouldn't have put it on, but I'm using it either way because it's pretty it's really good. Uh but the uh, yeah, fire aspect on weapons, that's not really something that I like because it, it causes a lot of problems, especially with zombies, but I'm gonna use efficiency to make this an efficiency 5. Um, there's a zombie somewhere. Uh, in my base... <laughs> get down here! My sound setting is messed up, I think. Let's put it down to 20. Some uh, stuff in there, not really much. I'm gonna show that I'm starting a new project in there, which is a big grind, as well as the just making it is a big grind, uh, like the hallway. I'm gotten like pretty far with it, I'm nearly done. And what is this? What? Why am I up here? <laughs> why am I in this ceiling? What's going on? I don't use this, is not normal. <laughs> yeah, this is also have also been a big grind. Uh, what is lava to bring down? No, I was, I was stupid. Uh, done this today. Uh, so me and Hefi and Moon we got together and uh, Hefi did most of the work. And uh, yeah, on the Nether Hop which we're heading over to right now. This is my tunnel. It's uh, it's not done, uh, but uh, it's getting there. That's why I'm I'm, I'm making a good. Uh, what are they called? A good axe because so I can get the rest of what I need here. You see, that's going to be. Some stairs, and this nether egg is going to be cobblestone. And I'm gonna have a railway going here, and so that you have a well ra railway and an ice road, and uh, you can ride a horse through here. So that's the most optimal uh, nether tunnel. It's five by five, like everybody else here in the hub. And isn't this really colorful? <laughs> it's crazy colorful. Uh, I did the the like the non-detailed work on the walls, like that right there and this right here and made the colors where they should end and start and he went through it again and made it more detailed that's his work and in there and stuff like that and he made the floor I think moon also he worked on the floor he made the ceiling a uh, really good job on that it's really detailed uh, oh, it's a joke and somebody made these stairs that's the most trouble we had with this project is the stairs because we didn't know how to work uh, how to work them out but uh, somebody did it I think it was Heafy and it, I think it's this is the best thing it's really good uh, I'm fuck uh, what's some Danish <laughs> I'm actually the, the the first person to make a tunnel uh, as you can see here is the, uh, the like the overview where you can see 
just hold your hand above them and you can see uh, it also makes sense there's two here it's this one for example is that one up there and and mine is down here so it's it's that one and uh, yeah what's to do we're heading to the end that's not in here it used to be in here we have to go down here yeah. uh, through down here through the oh you can't do that hmm. Uh, I'm actually quite scared of the end, so let me, let me chuck all my good stuff in here. Uh, the rest of this I can spare. Uh, yeah, because there's not really that many people have, have actually uh, put that tunnel up here, so there's still a lot of hopping, hop, hops <laughs> down here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, so, yeah. We got the, to the end in the last episode. And uh, kill the inter interbubber of them all, the dragon, Glidier. And uh, so uh, the new guy, Prophet, he has. Um, the first thing he did was to make an, uh, a beautiful um, uh, end farm or. Oops. Monster farm. What are they called? <laughs> Whatever. Uh, interbub farm. Inter inter. And uh, so that's pretty good. That we really need that. We still need a proper tunnel because I, f I can never fucking find this. It's down in in uh, in Matt's place where we were last time. And last time I was here, punched a hole through his his roof because I got so frustrated I couldn't find it. But it should be right here. Nope, it isn't. Where's your fucking entrance? I see my my former. Uh, Ice road, or whatever track to my is right here actually uh, down there, mm -hmm. and uh, people can just come and scrap it. And I I also already scrapped it uh, with for the ice and or salvaged it. It's called for the ice and such. Is it down here? Ah, this is promising. Uh, yes, this is here, and so people. Ooh, cool. So people can just come and, and, and take what they need from from the tunnel because I uh, I won't be taking it myself. This is Matt's place. I'm not sure if I'm gonna show. I mean, you know what? This is place is incredible. So go subscribe to Matt's, and I'll cut to the to the end. Okay, so I think uh, the prophet and what is it called? Disc dusk disc is down here. Um, working on it, making it pretty. With clay, I see. The first time I was here, it wasn't really done. It was only made out of in stone. And this is some nice stuff. This is good. Uh. Oh, there, everybody's here. Oh, this is this is loud. It's turned down to free. Uh, is this usable? I need. Uh, I need an anvil. And some levels. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me XP. Get, get, get away, my XP. Hey, okay. uh, and we'll let me see this one. Please don't kill me. I was only a punch. <laughs> Jack, <laughs> he's streaming right now actually. Um, where did he place it? I need an animal. Two seconds, an animal, an animal, an animal is what I need. If I share with you my animal, will you share your story with me? Uh, uh, I gifted this place to and so it's my rights. Let's see how much it costs. It costs 14 levels. Oh, you got, you got fucking sharpness on this shit! That's amazing! Oh, that's perfect! Oh man. Oh man. This will be the enchantment. It's perfect! Cow! It's the enchantment of a century. I can get. Fucking. 14 levels, come on. I mean, I can't hit that guy due to the slaps. That's a bad design. In my opinion. Um, let's do this. It's amazing. How much does it cost to 
Jesus Christ, 30 levels. I'm gonna do that off camera. Uh, what can I? My shoes, such in here. Don't really need the helmet. This, this, this is completely out of my interest to keep. Uh, my. Oh, we can we can do some stuff here. We can make more space in here. Like <laughs> taking all my valuables. Have you seen how much freaking? Um, how much? Head problem I've gotten. It's from digging my new project, uh, which I'm gonna hit home right now and show you guys, um, because it's, it's pretty cool. It is a community project, actually. This is taking quite a while. Um, put in here, this in here. Now we got a new spot. Let's take that. I'm naked. So I'll see you guys at home. This is always so scary. Yay! <coughs> so my new project is inside my... Or not inside, it's underground basically. Um, it's quite a hassle to get there actually. Uh, so let's see. Change this up, move it around. Uh, over here, before I say something else, I've, I've, I've done these walls, I've no, not, not done them, but I've made the pumpkin, like... Oh! <laughs> Ugh! The small work in here, I've done that, it looks pretty weird. This here were uh, red before, it was actually red, uh, the color, now it's green. That's because uh, the thing we're going to go into is in there, and so I made this, instead of this being green, like the plants and stuff, uh, this is being green because there's something in there that uh, is supposed to be red and not green. <laughs> this side is going to be yellow. Um, I'll talk about it later. Um, why I'm color coding it like that. I'm not sure if I said this, but these symbols down here are actual runes uh, from uh, the Danish uh, like um, and a very old stone uh, in Denmark. Uh, it's called the uh, it's called Jellingsteen, and uh, it's um, like the, the 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 testimonial or whatever the the birth uh, rights to Denmark is written on it in runes. And that's some runes from the actual stone. It's in here. You see that was a hassle get through. It is a double spider jockey, not jockey, but venomous baby spider, whatever, spawner in here. And it actually works. Uh, not right now, it's just a big hole, and it still needs to dig it out. This is, like, way overdone. <laughs> like, I don't need this space right here. I only need, like, a 6x6 six six or 5x5, five five. Uh, but uh, I like doing stuff big. And it's not even supposed to be that big. <laughs> But uh, I have a plan for this, it's that uh, I'm going to dig this uh, way um, and uh, fill up the bottom layer with the lava. Yeah, baby. And um, then make some platforms higher uh, with some hoppers or some, some minecart system or something that the galaxy drops from the spiders. With a string, there's only one drop, it's a string. Um, and uh, yeah. So you need to be in like the center of this area to to have them both active at the same time. So I, it's not really a big deal. I can make a ladder here going over there and uh, drop down into a glass cubicle or glass cube or something. It's not really a big deal. <laughs> deal. I still need to to place some stuff so that I can. Uh... Yeah, on top of that, so they don't spawn on that. But see, all this string. Wait, oh, I got a spider eye. That's a Bray I draw from them, actually. It's my, that must be the one I, I uh, killed with the bow and arrow. Uh, so this is one grind. It's uh, quite a lot to dig, actually. Uh, but I'm enjoying digging. I'm actually really enjoying digging stuff. Uh, but enough about that. Uh, I say I have no idea what else to put in this episode. Um, this has mainly just been an episode of me showing off stuff, so that's pretty lame. Uh, so what I think I'm do will do is actually do some stuff in here. Uh, so I guess I'll see you guys in bits.
Hi, we're here with Benzie. Hi, Benzie. Hello. We're going to test out the joust. So, um, do you want to pick a horse? I think there's a lance in the first two. Uh, lance? Yeah, like, for, have you, do you know what jousting is? Yeah, yeah. Do you have that in your country? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, this is... <laughs> it's a knockback sword. It's a really powerful wood sword. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm going to grab this horse on the other side and a lance. All right. He doesn't have much health, this guy. Okay. So, aim is to just knock the other person into the gaps. Hopefully it'll work. Okay. I get a feeling it won't, though. So, three, two, one, go! Jousting! Ah! Did it, not, it didn't knock you back in, did it? You hit me, but it didn't... It didn't, oh. like, push me. Mm, that sucks. Okay, maybe I have to hit the horse. Try again. Oh, oh I missed. Hey, let's try hitting the horse then. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, that works. Oh, we both fell in. So I need to bring wheat with me because my horse is gonna die otherwise. <laughs> my horse has like no health. He's got um one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hearts. Oh wow. Can you heal the horse with weed? I think is it not wheat? What is it? Carrots? I can't remember. Oh, my horse it. has been healed. Healed. What did you use? Does the wheat work or is it carrots? Yeah, I gave him some weed. Oh yeah, there we go. He's healing. Beautiful. Don't want him to die. <laughs> Wait, the lance didn't... Oh, it's because of unbreaking. <laughs> yeah, if unbreaking on a wooden sword. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Ready, go. Ah! Oh, you I suck. got you. Oh, <laughs> I, this is this is fun. Yeah, it actually does work. I wasn't expecting it to work quite that well. Because I was expecting people to knock back the way they came instead of off the track. Yeah. Do Let's you, go for... You, sorry? If you hit it just right, you, you actually fly quite a lot. Yeah. Okay, let's go for another two. Ready? Go! Oh! oh. <laughs> Did you survive? Uh, no, I fell off. Oh. Ah, get back! Get back! Get back! <laughs> Oh, my horse needs. Okay. All right, last one. Winner takes all. Ready, go. No. Oh my god! <laughs> Keep falling off at the same time. He's running away again. Come back! Come back! <laughs> all the way up there. We're not stairs. We should make. Ball. We should make like a group event for the tournament or something. Yeah, like people can stand up there and look. That would be pretty cool. As long as, as long as, it act, like, it just seems like we're knocking each other off at the same time every time. Yeah, let's let's try it again. Ready, go. Oh, ah, oh, you son of a! Oh, I, I stayed on. Oh man, don't run. Come back. Oops. There you go. <laughs> uh, I should name these horses. Um, ready, go. Oh, yeah. Ah. Uh. Okay, this this does work. This does work. <laughs> but you have to hit the horse. Yeah, it can't be the guy. I was hoping it would be the guy, though. Yeah. So that I wouldn't have to heal the horse all the time. And go! Oh, you son of a gun. Oh, you hit me. <laughs> Did you not fall off, though? Oh, come here. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid horse. I wonder if there's some tactics in actually jumping with a horse. Maybe the Let's see jump. He jumps quite high. All right, ready? Oh wow, you jump high. <laughs> uh, go. <laughs> <laughs> it may, like it have to be like one pe player uh, jumps and the other one doesn't, so that the other player has to aim again or re-aim to hit the horse instead of the player or something. Right. <laughs> That sounds confusing. <laughs> yeah. Last one, this time for real. Okay. Go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, that didn't count. Ready, go. Are <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> oh no, kill my horse. Oh no! Son of a bitch. <laughs> I'll get another one. I'll just breathe in. <laughs> Fuck. Whoops. You only had like seven hearts. <laughs> I didn't know that. A wood sword hurt so much. Yeah, never mind. I got another one. Rest in peace. 
<laughs> Thanks for your help, Benzie. I feel so bad right now. <laughs> Terrible human being. Oh, man. So, now it's actually the next day for me, and uh, I've done a lot of work. I've actually finished it. I only need the lava. And I have no idea how I'll be able to get there, I think. If I just chuck it all in here, I should be able to have a lot of a lot of lot of space for buckets. Um, damn, I'm messy. Uh, let's keep this. Take this. And yeah, we now we have a lot of space now. Um, so yesterday I talked about, or not yesterday, but previously in this episode. I talked about that I wanted to color code or have color coding uh, in the uh, main hall there and um, yeah you see green is for plants and stuff that's why I changed it because red is for blood and uh, blood is also mobs like killing mobs and such uh, the last one is yellow uh, for gold and that is where I'm gonna put the the throne room because this is yet again a uh, let me think. Uh, a dwarven base, so we need a front room. Of course, we do that. It's free, so we can place one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It should do. And now we can stack them, so we could get the the torches. So that's that's actually that with the front room. Um, no, not the front room, but the color coding. I don't really care about torches, do I? <laughs> So this will be. I hope this is gonna be really neat. Oh, place it wrong. And then one in the corner. Let's see how this looks. Hmm, I might need more lava, actually. I'm not sure. Uh, so I'm gonna do this, and when I'm done here, I think I will end off the episode. Because it's taken me quite a while to make. This was placed wrong again. Okay, so that took less buckets than expected. And it looks pretty cool. <laughs> I really like this. Um, so the way you do it is that you stand up here. There's a cube up here. Uh, it's pretty dark because it needs to be... And you go down here. And then you're in here. And both the spider spawners should be spinning. Yes, they're both spinning, and then I'll fall down there. These are hoppers. I tried working something out with a minecart to save iron, but I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> so I went with uh, just hoppers, because I was all more reliable. Then you stand AFK up here and get a lot of string uh, in this glass cube thing. Uh, let me actually fix this up. Uh, and then you go down here. This takes a while because it's a ladder. I don't really want to make stairs because, yeah, whatever. <laughs> and this place is pretty dangerous, but dangerous. But only if you jump, and you can jump up here and fall down. Have fire resistance, so that's okay. I've gotten uh, quite some string already. Uh, just being like working around here and being AFK. Um, so that's pretty good. And uh, well, I say this is a project done. It needs some some like prettification like these torches could be some sort of lamps or glowstone or something I'm thinking glowstone uh, but uh, and this area of course needs to be reworked but uh, that is something when I actually get to do the red section uh, the mob section that I will add this up or, or connect this with the rest of the base and of course this needs to be moved again and yeah need to f sort out this, this insane inventory <laughs> Uh yes. <laughs> Let me put this in here. Let's get some get some proper That actually only took um, uh, two like two buckets over double chest or something. That's pretty good. Uh so guys I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh and the Q community. I still need to work out the or finish up the tunnel. And uh, then every single project in this 
Oh, not, not every. I'm rambling. Whatever. If you enjoyed this episode, leave a like and have a good day. And go watch my other videos if you want to feel like it. It helps me out quite a lot. Leave a like. That also helps quite a lot. And I'll see you all next time.